Hello, I'm Mike Ruger, and today we're going to be talking about whether or not you can make a Roth IRA contribution for your children. We get this question a lot from parents because it is a really powerful wealth accumulation vehicle. When you think about being able to make a contribution for your 16-year-old son or daughter, and then they'll have that invested for 40 or 50 years and all the accumulation is tax-free, it can be a huge, huge windfall for them down the road. But there are some limitations and I just wanted to go through those today. So the way contributions to these accounts work is it's the lesser of 5500 and that's for 2018 or 100% of their earned income. And that's typically the later of the two, the 100% of earned income is usually what limits whether or not you can contribute for your kids. If they're not working and they have no W-2 income for the year, typically you can't contribute to a Roth IRA because they have no earned income. If they only make 3000 from part-time employment or a summer job, your max amount you could contribute for them is at 3000 not the full 5500 per year. So usually what we say is you collect their you know, W-2 and all their uh, payrolls for the year, and then that will determine ultimately what you contribute for that tax year from to a Roth IRA. Now, if you have a minor child, so they're under the age of 18, you actually still can contribute to a Roth IRA for them, again, as long as they have earned income. However, it's now considered a custodial IRA, which means minors can't enter into contracts, so they technically can't open an investment account or an IRA account, but you as their parent can sign all the paperwork, decide the investment objective, investment account for them, and then when they turn 18, then the account is 100% theirs, and it's no longer a custodial IRA, it's now the child's IRA, and it goes from there. Now, if your child's already 18 or older, again, you can put this strategy in place, but now they have to sign all the IRA paperwork. They probably have a say in the investment objective, which is usually a good learning tool for them to kind of bring them into that world for them to underst understand stocks, bonds, um, and accumulation over time. So that's how it works if they're over 18. Now there's contribution deadlines. So you have until April 15th, following the 1231 tax year end, to make the contribution to this Roth IRA. So what normally happens is, okay, it's 1231, 2017. I'm gonna start getting all the W-2s from my kids and I'm gonna, so I can determine how much I can make as far as a Roth IRA contribution on their behalf. So let's say it's 3,000 bucks. I have until April 15th to actually set up their IRA and fund it for that year for the previous tax year. That's how those contribution deadlines work. Now, the other question we get is, now, if your child didn't make enough that they even have to file a tax return, the question we get is, do they have to file a tax return in order for me to make a Roth IRA contribution for them? And the answer is no. They can make a Roth IRA contribution even though their income level might not require them to file an actual tax return for the year. Now, distribution options. Um, even though most of our clients set these up for their children and they are set up to be a retirement account, there's other flexible options that can be used within Roth IRAs. Because the way Roth IRAs work is, at any time you can take out the contributions tax and penalty free, it's the earnings portion of the account that if you take it out before 59 and a half, that's the piece you would have to pay taxes and penalties on. But here's a good example. So let's say over the last two years, I put 10,000 into a Roth IRA for my son. Now it's five years from now and it's worth $30,000. What I can do is if my son's about to buy a house, I can allow him to take the 10,000 out of his Roth IRA, that's tax and penalty free because that's his contributions, and then he can just leave the 20,000, which is the earnings piece in the Roth IRA, so he doesn't get hit with penalties or taxes, and that piece can, accum uh, can continue to accumulate. And you can see how kids could use this. They could use this for a down payment on a house. They could use it towards college expenses, they could use it towards a wedding. Just like there is some flexibility built in these Roth IRAs because the contributions are made with after-tax dollars. Um, if you're, and I've been talking a lot from a parent standpoint, grandparents can do this for their grandkids. If you have nieces and nephews, they don't necessarily have to be a dependent for you to make a Roth IRA contribution for someone. You just have to basically know their income level, which will tell you how much you can contribute for that particular year. We also have business owner clients that say, well, can I just put my child on the payroll? So they're showing 
a full 5500 in income and then I can make a full Roth IRA contribution for them. You can do that, absolutely, and we have a number of clients that do do that. Um, you just have to be able to justify the Department of Labor comes knocking. You can justify what your 14-year-old child is doing for the company, and usually that can be done. Yeah, usually that's not too much of a hurdle. And you can't put usually a 9-year-old on payroll because states have rules, labor rules, that say they have to be a certain age before they can start earning wages. But here, just I just want to basically spell out those ideas contribution limits. If you have any additional questions about this Roth IRA strategy, feel free to contact us at moneysmartboard.com. Thank you.